going. I just finished my first day of chemotherapy. I had two different drugs. Gabriel, my wife, Gabriel, I knew. We met prior to the first day of college, and she was a stubborn, young, feisty girl who didn't really deal with much BS. And she kind of stayed that way throughout our whole relationship. Um, I think I'm well. I'm sleepy, but that's about it. But, uh, and that's kind of how she went through life, especially after she had her cancer diagnosis. She spent time focusing on the important things and filtered through all the other stuff that doesn't matter and kind of lived every day with a purpose and meaningfully. And that's how she ran, that's how we traveled, that's how we lived. It's especially more so in the last four years after she had her metastases to her liver. The Gabriel quote that I always cling to is, it's okay to struggle, it's not okay to give up. And it gets low, it gets dark. It, you can never predict it. The hardest times are still getting home and going to bed at night, or I get off a night shift and going to bed in the morning and the bed's not warm, there's not anyone waiting there for you. But I've definitely clung to a lot of the wisdom she left me behind and then listening to music that we listen to, listening to the national, um, it always can bring you back to a place that was special. Gabriel and I lived in three month increments the last few years of our life together. Every three months she'd have a CT scan, every three months we'd do something beautiful, we'd go on a trip and go to a concert. And last trip, she really wanted to go on was to go to Hawaii. So it's kind of the one that got away from us, the one adventure we really wanted to go on together. We did it. Say hi. I think she's still here with me. I can find her out here in a beautiful rainbow, her shooting star, her just kind of all the beauty that's all over the island. So she's definitely still here. I use running therapeutically because everything hurts. Waking up hurts, going to bed hurts the worst. You get that deep ache in your throat and that hollow feeling in your chest and when you run, it hurts. But it's a good hurt. It numbs down all the other hurt into a less painful scenario. So when I can go run and charge up a mountain and I feel like my lungs are gonna explode and my thighs are gonna pop, it's a good feeling because then everything else doesn't hurt. So that's kind of the therapy I get out of it. It might be masochistic, but it feels good to control your own hurt. And it's not super purposeful, but for me the purpose is to keep me alive. I don't know if I'd survive without running. Some of our last conversation, she really wanted me to keep living and try to have a life. And the running always helps. And kind of setting goals for myself to run to helps a lot. I loved being her training partner forever. I never had to have any goals running, but it's fun to set some goals for myself now and hold myself accountable. There's trails all over the world with fastest known times. We're here in Kauai. I have to imagine this is the most beautiful island in Hawaii and the Nepali coast 
11 miles out, 11 miles back, you're essentially racing history because it's the fastest anyone has ever traversed a piece of land on foot. It's kind of exhilarating and it seems fun to me. Having fun. No suffering yet. One forty eight, evenish on the turnaround. I think I can get it. Got a little emotional. Really, at peace. Pretty blue in the world out there. We got it. We had a lot of meaningful conversation, just what she wanted her legacy to be. She wanted the foundation to thrive and move forward. She wanted me to be able to move forward in life. I mean, she distinctly told my parents that Justin can only drink beer four nights a week. Hold him to that. But she had a good piece of advice for kind of everyone and very thoughtful. Gabriel, she both lived it and taught me how to live. Just don't take your time for granted. Nothing is guaranteed, and it never will be for anyone. Not that you want to live afraid, but you just want to live. And that's how she lived. 